often we need to laser mark a bitmap and then come back and cut it out to make an applique out of acrylic, wood, fabric, twill, cork, leather, whatever the requirements. So we have here a bitmap. I'm looking down at the bottom, an RGB bitmap. It engraves nicely. We don't want to change it. We need an outline around it. So I'm going to show you where we're headed here. I'm going to paste in that red outline. We'll zoom up on that. So we'll engrave the black RGB bitmap and then come back and cut it out with this. How are we going to do that? Well, let's get rid of that and start from scratch. This is the way we'll do it. First, I'm going to make a copy of that with that bitmap selected from the numeric keypad. I'm going to press the plus key. Did you notice it flashed? That made a duplicate in place that is exactly on top of the other. Now I'm going to move that over to the right. So plus 10 inches. So that moved our copy 10 inches to the right precisely. That I'm going to turn into a black and white bitmap, which will trace easier. Bitmaps, mode, black and white. We need that to be called line art for to trace better. And I'm going to move this over till I start. I want it as black as I can get it. So I'm going to keep moving that over till I start seeing some negative distortions. Now I'm seeing some dots in here. So I'm going to back it up uh, a, little, a little, maybe right about there. Then we'll OK that. So we have two parts that look quite similar. This one is an RGB. This one is a monochrome. So let's trace that with it selected. We're going to click Trace Bitmap, Outline Trace, Line Art, and it tells me it's too big for it to calculate. It's going to force me to reduce. That's one reason I made a copy of it. So we'll reduce the resolution of that. That'll have no effect on our original bitmap. So it's working away. When it finishes, in this case, I'm going to ignore all except the options, but I normally want to delete the original. I don't want that black and white bitmap. I just want the traced vector. I'd like for it to remove all the background. And normally then I would tell it to remove color from the entire image, not particularly important in this case, and that's all that should matter. We'll tell it OK. So now I have no longer a bitmap, but a group of seven objects. That's vector-based. This would illustrate why very often I like to work on a page with a yellow background. Let's zoom in on this area here. And you'll see the white box back behind the bitmap. But you'll see here, we're looking right through that and can see the yellow page. If we had a normal white page, we couldn't make that distinction. OK, we're going to zoom back out. And we'll, we still have this selected. So I would like to put a contour on that. That's effects, contour, ah. But I see I already have a check mark here, which means I already have Contour Docker. So we'll jump over to our Contour Docker. And I want a contour on that, an outline, not to the center, not to the inside, but to the outside. And X6, that's the rightmost icon. I want one step only. And I want that to be maybe a quarter of an inch. And we'll tell it to apply that. Then I'm going to tell it that I want no fill. I'm left clicking on the X at the top of the color bar. 
and then I'm going to right click on red and everything that can be outlined uh, is, shows up now in red. It's that outermost object that I'm interested in. So what I'm going to do is arrange, break contour group apart, and I'll click off and select just that part and maybe edit cut. And then this, we're through with it. Let's delete it. Now I'm going to edit and paste. That brings the part back. Notice one of the potential problems of a contour. Some of these areas in here also got built into our contour. So we'll go to break apart. And this is the part we want. I'm going to right click on it, make that red. Then I'm going to move that back to minus 10 inches. When I press enter, that'll throw that back exactly 10 inches to the left. So it should be perfectly juxtapositioned on top of our part. Have a little bit of garbage over here. We'll get rid of that. And now we're ready to engrave and then come back and cut this out. Project complete.